Red Magic 6 is one of the latest phones that is designed for gamers, but because it has so much power under the hood, a 165Hz refresh rate screen, it is much more than just a gaming device. Let's see if that is the right phone for you. Just like previous iterations of Red Magic phones, this device looks different than the majority of mainstream devices. The backplate clearly indicates a gaming theme and highly customizable RGB lights reassure that. You can use these lights more than just for gaming effects and you have plenty of customization options. The cooling system is now improved in terms of power and battery consumption and the highlight of it, an active fan that turns on automatically while gaming or charging the device. This cooling system can lower the CPU core temperature by 16 degrees Celsius to assure the best gaming performance. Speaking of charging, the device's internal 5000 mAh unit can be recharged in just 43 minutes with a 66 w charger. However, you need to buy it separately because in the retail box you get just a 30 w charger. On the other hand, it's still pretty fast as it takes about 1 hour and 5 minutes to charge the battery from zero to full. If you plan to game a lot, expect to get about 5 hours of screen on time if you use the maximum screen brightness and refresh rate. If you use the phone less intensively at about 50% of screen brightness, you can achieve screen on time of about 11 hours. Now the display. This 6.8-inch AMOLED panel sports a ridiculously high refresh rate of 165Hz and 500Hz single finger touch sampling rate and some other high-end specs. In practice, this screen makes the phone feel ridiculously fast and fluid. I wouldn't say there is a massive difference between 165 and 120 Hz refresh rate to the naked eye, but you can still notice it if you compare the phones side by side. If you are gaming and want the best performance possible, the Red Magic 6 is one of the phones to look for, just for the display alone. The phone also uses intelligent adjustment of 60, 90, 120 and 165 Hz refresh rate for the best viewing experience and power management. I found the display quality to be great too, despite the fact it's just 1080p+. The panel is plenty sharp, vibrant and 630 nits of peak brightness assures decent outdoor visibility. I found the under the screen fingerprint reader to be super fast and accurate, much faster than the one found on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. When it comes to cameras, we have a triple system with a 64 megapixels main sensor, 8 megapixels ultra wide and 2 megapixels macro shooter. On the front, there is an 8 megapixels shooter. One disappointment for some users, there is no micro SD card slot. Other key features include a headphone jack, super sensitive shoulder triggers that I'll talk about in the gaming section, NFC, and a very loud and good sounding dual speaker system. Here is an audio test. Now let's talk about the specs and performance. If you combine a 165Hz refresh rate display with other bleeding edge specifications like a Snapdragon 888 chipset, you're looking at one of the fastest phones on the planet and that is obvious from the moment you pick it up. Even though Red Magic OS that is built on top of Android 11 is not my favorite, it has a lot of features and customization options to play with so you can tweak your phone in a variety of ways. Also, once you navigate through the UI, the phone just flies and it feels ridiculously fast. To be honest with you, Red Magic 6 is definitely one of the fastest phones I've used this year. It is simply impossible to make the phone lag or stutter, no matter what you do with it. Now the part you've been waiting for, gaming. The overall experience is just great. Flip the switch to open up a dedicated gaming space, internal fan kicks in and RGB LED strip lights up. You can see all of the games installed on the device and adjust quite a few settings like the refresh rate, turbo fan, record the screen and so on. There are other features which however work only in certain games. For instance, for the shock effect why brace the phone like a gaming console controller would do and it works in games like Asphalt 9 but it doesn't work in Asphalt Extreme. You can also use super sensitive and responsive shoulder triggers to enhance your FPS gaming experience. I mostly use these triggers in games like PUBG and Genshin Impact and I was highly impressed with the responsiveness. 
You can also minimize the game using mini window feature. Macro 2.0 allows you to quickly record the gameplay and app overlay allows you to use WhatsApp, Discord, Telegram, Facebook, Messenger or Chrome at the same time as you are playing without interrupting the game with a small interactive overlay window over the game. You can also boost the performance to the max or choose the display settings according to the genre of the game. As you can see, there are many enhancements and optimizations that play in tandem with powerful hardware and the cooling system to assure the best gaming experience. The actual performance is top-notch. All of the 3D games just fly on this device no matter which graphics settings you choose. Well, this is what you have to expect from a fully loaded gaming machine. The device gets a little bit warm as you would expect but internal fan and other cooling components assure that there is no decrease in performance even if you are playing for hours. Well, that's a gaming phone and it lives up to its name. Daylight image quality using the main camera is pretty good. The pictures have quite a lot of detail and sharpness and the colors tend to be neutral. A 64 megapixels mode gives you even more detail and sharpness. However, if you want to use the wide-angle camera, you need to use the Pro mode, which is very strange. Also, images taken using this lens could be sharper and have more detail. A native camera app also has 3, 5 and even 10 times digital zoom options. As the name implies, these are digitally zoomed in pictures, so don't expect stellar results. Portrait mode could do a better job with edge detection as most of the shots have this weird artificial blur around the head. Night mode produces images that look ok but there could be less noise and more detail in some of the shots. There is no real portrait mode on a selfie camera meaning that there is no blurry background effect which is disappointing. Also the quality of selfies could be better in both good and poor lighting. A dedicated macro lens requires quite a bit of patience but you can achieve some respectable results. All of the shots you see were taken handheld. The phone can record in 8K resolution but video playback is very choppy on my 4 year old MacBook Pro that's why I uploaded this and other video samples on the Techline Extras YouTube channel. I would recommend you choosing either 4K 30 or 60fps video recording mode as the footage is surprisingly stable and smooth even when shot handheld. The overall quality of video is also pretty good. 1080p selfie video quality however does not really impress and the main reason for that is the lack of image stabilization. For the audio quality, listen yourself. Today's lighting conditions are good. Uh, today we have a sunny day but I'm standing here in the shade. Let me walk a little bit. Right now I'm holding the phone in two hands. No stabilization tools whatsoever. So this is how the video looks like. When it comes to connectivity, the phone supports 5G and the latest Wi-Fi 6E that includes 6GHz band for blazing pass speeds. The EU model that I have also has NFC and call quality and signal reception have been good. Overall, Red Magic 6 is a great device but I think it's much more than just a gaming phone but it has some shortcomings to consider too. The key shortcomings are that the phone does not ship with a 66 watts charger even though the device is capable of being charged at this speed. The phone also lacks a micro SD card slot. Other flaws are related to camera performance. Just average wide angle camera image quality and no real portrait mode and no video stabilization on a selfie shooter. Even though there are some cons, pros easily outweigh the cons. For the price of about 600 euros, you are getting a phone that's probably the fastest on the market right now thanks to bleeding edge specifications, 165Hz refresh rate display and a dedicated cooling system. The device also has a unique design with RGB lighting, the main camera can take some nice images and shoot smooth 4K video, the battery life is good and the device has a good sounding dual speaker system. In conclusion, the Red Magic 6 has a few caveats to consider but overall it's a great device not only for gamers but for the general audience as well. If you are looking for one of the best performers in the smartphone world, the Red Magic 6 should definitely be very high on your list. Now a quick word from the channel sponsor iMobi. AppTrans is a free tool that can transfer Android apps from Android to Android phone as well as from iPhone to iPhone. 
This app can transfer any downloaded apps instead of the default apps to the target Android device like WhatsApp, YouTube, TikTok, Netflix, game apps, etc. Also, users can transfer both apps and app data to the target device or they can just transfer the apps or the app data. You can backup, restore, transfer and export apps and app data in one simple click. AppTrans has a lot more features and you can learn more about them by clicking the link in the video description down below. What's your opinion about the Red Magic 6? Would you buy this phone or would you choose another option? As always, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.